What's up guys, JPR Tech here, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you a really quick how-to, an amazing workaround to use your M1 Mac Mini, or if you have an M1 Mac Studio, you could go to Starbucks, use your iPad as a monitor, and just work with your full-fledged desktop anywhere you are, and it's quite easy. Now I gotta give props where props is due, I can't pronounce the name, I'm sorry, but there was this one YouTuber who, who it was obvious from another country, European, I don't wanna uh, guess anything because I know I'll be wrong. I'm not good with accents, but um, yeah, it's just that this YouTuber very kindly shared a short video on how to use your iPad as an external monitor, but not only that, without the need of having a main monitor. Now there is, there are, companies out there that make adapters that help you do this without any fuss whatsoever just as easy as plugging in a little dongle to the back of the mac mini and downloading the appropriate apps for the ios and well actually i should say the mac ipad os as well as the mac os and it would just recognize the ipad as a monitor instantly now that's all hand and dandy, but it costs money. That tongue order loan will set you back over a hundred dollars. And at least the apps are free. But the method I'm about to show you, completely free. All you need is your Mac OS with it's a recent iPad that supports Sidecar. And as you can see, it's already working and it even works wirelessly. It's just an amazing feature. But the neat thing about this is Check this out. If we were to unplug the HDMI cable, our Mac mini is still running full-fledged Mac OS on just the iPad. And it's quite simple to do. So let's head over to my Mac and show you guys how to get this going. You guys, so now that we're in our desktop, let me show you really quick how to get all set up for you guys. Now, personally, in my case, under security and privacy, I have my Mac mini to automatically log in so I don't require a password when I'm logging in. Now, that is a risk that I was willing to take. I am taking right now, but nobody uses my Mac mini and hopefully no one remotely has access to it when it's power off. But if you do have a required password, you do log into your computer, if other people are using the computer, this next step is probably very important to do. You wanna head over to users and group and head over to login options. Now under login options down below, you're gonna have display login window as, and by default is a list of users. You don't wanna have list of users because Basically, when you boot up the Mac, you're gonna be blind for the first few seconds. So you wanna have name and password, so it's automatically boots up into your account, and all you have to do is type the password, hit enter, and wait for the desktop to appear. And the way you know your desktop appeared is when you have your iPad connected to the Mac Mini, waiting a few seconds after everything is booted, it's gonna start charging. Once you get the charge button, the charge icon on the top right of your Mac, or your, sorry, excuse me, of your iPad, your computer is all set up. You are logged into your desktop. You're in your desktop environment. And this is where the little DIY hack is gonna help you turn on the iPad as a monitor. So what we gotta do first is we, we gotta find out the address, the location of our iPad. And we do so by heading over to our Finder window, hovering over the green expand button, you will see the name of your device down there. You're gonna need that whole sentence. You're gonna need to type move to whatever the name is. So you wanna take a screenshot, copy it, write it down, remember it, whatever you, you need to do, we're gonna need this exact same sentence. So once you have that copy down, you have it memorized, head over to your system preference keyboard head down to the bottom to app shortcuts make sure you are in all applications hit the plus sign and under all applications you're going to type the menu title or in our case is that actual 
address that I kind of forgot. I think it was something like this, but in case you did forget, you could always just hover over, head over over here, make sure it's exactly the same. Or like I did in my case, I just took a screenshot of that. And then I can just verify here. Yep, that's correct. Move to iPad Pro slash SQ. Then we are all set to go. All you need is the keyboard shortcut to initiate that sidecar. And that's it. Now in my case, I put the control command I. That's the shortcut I'm using. So when I press that, it's gonna initiate sidecar and my iPad is gonna just turn on and I'll see my whole desktop environment. There you have it guys. So I guess there are some benefits of being stuck in the Apple ecosystem. A lot of Android user, Windows users see that as a limitation, but personally, there's just far too many conveniences such as this that just keep me locked in into the Apple ecosystem. And if you guys found this video useful or helpful, I would appreciate you smashing that like button and don't forget to share because this how-to video, this little hack thing, it was really hard to find in Google. I didn't find anyone sharing how to do this in any other Reddit forums, just anywhere. I barely found this video in YouTube somehow in the black hole of YouTube and I'm glad I did. So guy, whoever you are, I'm gonna have a link in the description to his channel because I gotta get props where it's due. Receive free, give free. So guys, I'm just giving you what I learned. And yeah, last thing to do is say thanks. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.